Oh my goodness gravy. Get ready ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm gonna show you boys how to work some lumber. All right, so what's up and what is glorious? Um, YouTube, the World Wide Web, as you guys can see, it's your host with the most Paul Can too. And today we're doing something a little different. I'm gonna show you guys how to build a bed for beginners. That is right, baby, the cheap way. So in my hand, I have some really cheap lumber and I'm about to go to a big old box store, Lowe's, shout out to them, even though they're really not supporting me in any way whatsoever. But yes, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a bed the basics i've seen a lot of youtube tutorials on how to do this and i feel like a lot of them are professional woodworkers they get a little bit too complicated but this is going to be as simple cut and dry and cheap as it gets so i'm aiming for this bed to come in at around 150 bucks max and essentially i see a lot of beds for like 100 to 300 from like ikea amazon etc and the designs aren't super good the material is not the best and they tend to fall apart and just aren't what i want so why not create this reality and make my own now we're going to be working a lot of skills and i want you guys to empower yourselves and gain some skills garnish some knowledge and check out today's video sponsor which is skillshare if you guys feel inclined to do so so all skillshare is is an online learning community you have a multitude of classes you guys can take for all of y'all who are creative and have that creative itch so you guys can take anything from learning how to create music fine art how to Flick up on Instagram, literally how to improve in a whole crazy variety of ways creatively. I'm gonna let this plane go by, man. Now Skillshare has over a thousand different classes and all of them are in video form, super easy to digest. And one that I watched recently was called like how to style your space, where basically this interior design chick made her house look amazing so i took a lot of inspiration from that and that's why i want to create my own bed make it look modern futuristic and awesome so if you guys would like to check out skillshare and level up i mean it's a new year new me new you who check the link in the video description you guys can get two months of skillshare completely free so just soak up that knowledge like a sponge and get started but speaking of getting started let's hit up lowe's and get some supplies and see about building this bed for the low Let's get in there. All right, guys, so right now we're actually in Lowe's shopping for the wood. So obviously to build a bed, you need wood, and the first step is to have a supply list. So right here I have all the different wood that I need for this project. Now I just designed this off the top of my head, but when looking at wood, it is very important that you guys check for giant chips that the boards aren't too curved and that they kind of have a cool grain pattern and look crispy. So I'm gonna grab all the two by threes that I need, which is listed right here, and um, then move on to the one by sixes. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so here we are at the one by six area. So pretty much this has the one by sixes, the one by fours, and the one by twos all in this area. Now all of this wood is straight from Finland. So sh shout out Europe for providing some quality pine. But again, it's important to make sure that there aren't too many knots if that's something you guys would like to avoid and making sure all the boards are straight. So I have the list right here and I'm gonna fill in all the prices for each piece so we can see what the total cost will be in regards to wood. All right, and there it is guys. I just did the total calculation and it appears that to create this bed, it's only gonna cost $120.26. So let's go ahead and get all the wood, get home, and get to chopping it up. All right, so now that the wood is out of the car, and shout out to Texas's bipolar weather, um, it got cold real quick. I'm gonna cut all the wood. So the tool that I have to cut is this DeWalt sliding miter saw. It's the 12 inch edition. 
like it the long way, the strong way. But if you guys want to cut wood, y'all can literally use any saw and I surmise some member of your family or a friend of a friend, a relative will have a saw that you guys could borrow. But if y'all wanted to buy one, there is a chop saw option that's 100 bucks at Lowe's to $179 as well. And if y'all wanted to be like me when I was five years old trying to create a treehouse from scratch, you can use a hand saw if you really want to cut the wood um, with a lot of manual labor included. Oh yeah, and just so you guys know that I'm not cutting all willy-nilly, here is my cut list for each board, the quantity and the length that I will need to cut. Yeah. All right guys, so all the two by threes have been cut for the headboard and baseboard. So now I'm gonna lay them down and just get a rough idea of what it's gonna look like. Let's do it. All right, so everything is pretty much set up. Um, I guess I'll tell you guys the measurements that I went ahead with for this particular design. So the entire width of the bed is gonna be 62 and a half inches, and the height of the baseboard is 32 inches total, 29 inches on these two by threes that I cut, and the headboard total is 56 inches, and so these bad boys are 53, and again, 62 and a half inches wide so now that i have the two by threes cut i want to actually see what it'll look like when i put the bed frame in so i'm gonna cut a couple of one by sixes lay them in and just make sure that the design actually looks somewhat good <laughs> All right, so these one by sixes that I cut are going to be used as the bed frame. So they are going to house the mattress. So right now I'm just aligning them to make sure they work and they do. So let's cut the others. Well, would you look at that? All right, so we somewhat have a bed taking shape. Now, these are the boards I showed you guys when I laid down the baseboard and the headboard. Um, and then I just cut these boards going across. Now, these are 80 inches long because a queen size mattress is a little less than about 80 inches. And then inside, I also cut some 80 inch rails. And then I also have to put a one by two right across this area right here. And there it is guys, y'all can see the framework and you might be wondering, what is that thing doing right there? Well, I wanna put a two by three as a support beam in the middle of the bed. So when I'm doing, you know, a little extracurricular activities, uh, the bed does not break. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut that to length right now and get it in there. <laughs> All right. There it is guys, let's go. Then I whipped out some 80 grit sandpaper, put it on the sander and made the boards as even as possible. Perfect. So, so smooth. All right guys, so now that we have all the boards preliminarily, that's a word, sanded, we're gonna go ahead and do the second sanding with like 220, make them super, super smooth as glass, and then get to assembling. So all these boards are getting sanded like a mother. All right, and here we are, my children. We're in the bedroom right now and you guys can see uh, by the way the bed looks, how absolutely empty it is in here and why this bed needs a frame. So the majority of all the pieces are cut in terms of the ones needed uh, to engineer this bad boy. A few more will probably be added on the headboard whenever I get to that stage. But for now, let's get it in. Now when it comes to assembly, I had to drill some pilot holes through the pine. The pine is so thick that it resists a lot of the screws. So I just had to create some guidance in the life of the screws. Now when it came to putting those puppies in there, all I did was 
put the screw in, got a right angle, butt jointed the two by threes, and slammed them suckers into place. And then I rinse, wash, and repeated until the headboards were completed. <laughs> Yeah. Alrighty, so the next step in the process was to drill the 80 inch 1x2s into the 80 inch 1x6s to create the sides of the bed. Then to create the front and back of the bed frame, I had to screw in the other 1x2s to the 1x6s, and then we had all four parts complete. Had to screw those parts together. Let's go, let's go. And now the bed frame was pretty much done, aside from the one support beam that needed to seal the deal and make it structurally sound. Then I moved the bed frame onto the headboard and I braced myself for the moment. Here, you might wanna hold it by the middle. Thanks to the assistance of my beautiful woman, I was able to screw in the bed frame using gravity as my ally and I had half of the bed done. Then we very carefully tumped the bed over onto its side and I got some 15 inch 2x3s to serve as support beams for the center of the bed. Without these dudes here, I would fall straight through my structure upon snoozing. And then to finally seal the deal, using gravity again, I drilled the actual headboard into the bed frame. And it was time to test the durability and strength of my concoction. Oh, get that to the ice. Alright. Put it down. Hold on. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Alright guys, so there it is. Almost done. I just gotta put the cross slats and then the mattress on. I am gonna do a headboard too, but that's gonna happen another day. This has been a very frustrating and testing time for my relationship because this ain't building no Ikea bed and getting frustrated. This is literally no instructions, just making it up as you go along. Uh, but I mean, check it out, dude. We got the bones right here. All right, let's put in the cross panels and just get it done. So the cross panels, AKA slats, were the one by fours and all of them were 61 inches long to fit perfectly into the frame I built. Now the next day, I cut four one by sixes to 62 and a half inches long, screwed them into the frame of the headboard and essentially created the headboard and finished the bed, baby. And boom. All right, so pretty much the entire bed is uh, complete. The only thing I wanna do is actually sand some of the edges because I forgot to do so and they're kinda sharp. So you could cut yourself just a little bit. Um, now, I was thinking of actually finishing the bed, but I don't know what color I want. I think a lot of wood finish tends to not look super good on just generic pine. So I might play around with some of the wood finish or just put a clear coat on this, but that will be in another video. For now, I'm just gonna get the orbital sander, round off the edges, throw on the mattress, and that pretty much is all there is to it, baby. guys so I felt it was only right to conclude this video after getting a good night's sleep on the bed so 
The bed supported both me and my girlfriend. I am so grateful that it did not fall apart at the seams, but surprisingly, screws and wood are extremely strong and durable. If I would have added wood glue, the structure would be even stronger. I just didn't because I thought I might deconstruct the bed, reuse the wood, move it somewhere, or just build another. But uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't built anything out of wood in four years. So I'm very happy with the results. One thing I am going to change is the color of the comforter. I'm gonna put a nice forest green comforter on the bed and try and create a jungle with a bunch of plants and other homemade furniture in this room. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. It's the least you guys can do to help spread my hard work. Also, um, I wanna shout out the video sponsor again, Skillshare. You guys can click the link in the video description and enhance your creativity by taking a few classes. Um, now these classes are all easy to digest, they're all videos, and you guys get the first two months for free. So why not learn a few things, gain some knowledge, and take those skills and apply them to the real world if you are a creative ass person. Also in the video description is the full supply list and cut list if you guys would like to make this project yourself. It has all the wood, all the measurements, and you guys pretty much can just use this blueprint to create an identical copy or take inspiration from this. So I included that as well, baby. You're welcome. But in conclusion, man, thank y'all so much for watching. I seriously could not be here without you guys. I mean, I, I would be here, but I would have no support. And that's half the motivation to even do this shit. So thank y'all so much for watching. Always showing love and dropping these comments. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream. I'm locked and loaded. And until next time, I'm out. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life I roost And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to